previously on Hardland. <laughs> Who was that guy? You're actually a bronc rider. That's right. And I am after buckles, just not ones that belong to some two-bit cowboy wannabe. Ty and I have something that we want to tell you. I've been seriously considering going to Mongolia. 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 I fully intend to come back and take my position in the clinic. Your job and your partnership will be here waiting for you when you get back. Thanks, Scott. Georgie, hold up! Bye! Okay. Turns out it's not true what they say. Slow and steady doesn't win the race. Come on, you're doing great. I'm pretty sure your five-year-old sister can run laps around me. You just need a little more practice. Come on, I'll race you back. Maybe you can let me win just once. <laughs> Guess not. <laughs> yeah. How long's your layover in hey. Beijing? Hey, they're going in the pie. <laughs> they're good. Uh, Lisa's aunt's coming over tonight, so she's making a whole lot of pie. <laughs> Looks like she's gonna open a bakery time. <laughs> uh -huh. Here, how about you guys say hi? Uh, hey, don't do honey. anything stupid. Travel safely. We miss you. <laughs> Did you get that? Oh, I love you too. I never thought I'd say this, but call me as soon as you get to Mongolia. Mongolia? What about Ty's clients? We'll figure it out. He's only gone for four months. Four months? Look on the bright side. It's a good excuse to finally hire a new assistant. Here, go through these resumes. Pick out four or five that seem qualified, and we'll go from there. Oh, uh, Amy called. She has a horse she wants you to look at. Hey, did you guys have a good ride? Everything hurts. Is it normal to be the sore? <laughs> Your muscles will get used to that. We're headed to Maggie's later. Do you want to join us? Uh, you know, I should probably start working with a new client horse that just came in. This one here? Yeah, his name's Lex. His owners say that he's spooky and unpredictable, but they all say that. Do you want me to stay and help out? That's OK. It's a pretty standard game plan. I'm just going to lunge him, see if he responds to my cues, that sort of thing. Thanks, though. You guys have fun. So how come I've never met your Aunt Evelyn? Well, I actually haven't seen her in a long time. She travels a lot. We used to be closer. She's sort of more of a sister to me than an aunt. At times, I mean, during my divorce, I cried on her shoulder. She fed me wine. I honestly don't know what I would have done without her. I'm actually kind of excited for you to meet her finally. Me too. She's quite something. <laughs> Speaking of, there she is. For crying out loud, she's three hours early. Yes, she is. All right, let's go. Go. Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh look at you. You are still so beautiful. You haven't changed one No, bit. nor have you. Oh, yes, I have. <laughs> no. Oh. Ah, yes. You must be Jack. <laughs> well, I've been dying to meet the man who stole my favorite niece's heart. Well, it is my pleasure, and welcome to Heartland. Thank you. You know, it's perfectly charming here. It's, you know, it's smaller than I expected. Smaller than Fairfield. Well, it is, it is quite charming. And who might you be? Katie! <laughs> now that is a lovely name. You know something, Katie? I think I might have something for you in the car. You do? I do. It's a kite. Thanks. I was just in Kujarit. And every year they celebrate the festival of Uterayon, where millions of people gather to fly kites to celebrate the end of winter. It's one of the most magical things I have ever seen. <laughs> Can we fly right now? <laughs> oh, well, let's just let Aunt Evelyn settle in for a moment, shall we? So what do you say? Thank you. Oh, you are very, very welcome, dear. All right, you have to come inside. I have your favorite cocktail <gasps> brewing. Yes. Right now. <laughs> you help me, please, miss? Jack, be a dear, and help the driver bring in all the gifts that I brought, would you? Nothing's very heavy, so hopefully it won't strain you too much. Thank you.
Scott said you had a horse you wanted me to take a look at? Yeah, Lex. He's in the back stalls here. Ow. You all right? Yeah, I'm fine. What happened? Uh, Lex was so excited to get out of the round pen, he nearly ran me over. Did you fall down? Yeah. How hard? Not that hard. Do you have any cramping or bleeding? Um, no. Why, should I be concerned? Well, the baby's well protected in the womb, for the most part. I wouldn't worry about it. <sighs> Too late. I'm worried. I'm gonna call my obstetrician. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to freak you out. I mean, if I were you, I'd be way more worried about your husband. I mean, Mongolia, are you kidding me? Yeah, hi, this is Amy Fleming. Is Dr. Adler there? There's a hidden marker in each circle. The teams use a series of clues and a compass to find them. So people actually do this for fun? Yeah. It's called Competitive Mounted Orienteering. There's a club right here in Hudson that puts on events every month. I already signed us up. Marion dragged me to one of these things when we first started dating. Actually, it was kind of fun. You see? Yeah, well, we weren't speaking by the end of it. Georgie, can you take these plates to those guys in the back? Oh, I'm not working a shift today. I know, but Clay's over there, and I'd rather eat glass than pretend to be civil to him. Your job is to deliver food to the customers. You and Clay are competitors in the arena. This is a diner. Deliver food to the customers. All right. The rib platters, all the fixings. Is there anything else I can get you? Nope. Is something funny? Well, we were just admiring your outfit. It looks real nice. Should wear it to practice sometime. Yeah. Can ride the Bronx side saddle. <laughs> Give us a twirl. Don't choke on your ribs, boys. <laughs> oh, hey, hold up. Can we get another round of waters? Rat of ketchup. There's plenty of ketchup on the table. Mm. It's empty. Mm, no, it's not. But I'm the customer I was being right. You know what? Obviously, I'm mistaken. Oh, what the? <laughs> ah. You are right. It is empty. Hey, you better come back here and clean this up. Clean it up yourself. What's going on here? I'm just trying to eat, and Jake came over and lost it on you. Oh, you know that's not true. This is a diner. It's not a high school. Sit down. You get back to work. <sighs> what was that? Clay's ego was burning out of control. So I put it out with ketchup. Do you ever think that maybe your personality isn't suited to the service industry? It's not my personality that's the problem. Well, what did your doctor say? Exactly what you did, that I shouldn't worry. Only she was a little bit more reassuring. Better safe than sorry, right? And I'm sure Ty would say the exact same thing if he were here and not off saving gummy bears. Gobi bears. Yeah, I get it. Ty's saving the world. He's always had sort of a messiah complex. A what? He's just really into helping people and animals. Aren't you? I'm a vet because of the surgery. That's what I get off on. Helping pets and their owners is more of a fringe benefit. Well, that's it for today. From what I can tell, it doesn't look like Lex is suffering from any type of ailment, but I'll do a full blood can and chemistry profile just to be sure. Okay. I'll call you when I get the results. Thanks. Cassandra. I hope that you can at least try to be happy for Ty. I know that this Mongolia thing came out of the blue, but it's really important to him. Look, if Ty has found his bliss or whatever, then I am happy for him. I'm just not gonna pretend to be happy that my workload is doubled. Not that I'm complaining or anything, but... Well, I mean, I guess I am complaining. I have traveled all over the world, but nothing captured my heart the way India did. The, the Ajunta Caves and... The Arejo temples, and of course, oh, the Taj Mahal. <laughs> oh, that sounds like an amazing trip. What about you, Jack? Where do you like to travel? Hmm. Backfield, that's about as far as Jack gets. That, that, that's not true. I've spent a few winters in Arizona. And... and he's been to France once. Katie, will you please finish your carrots? Jack, you went to France? It was a while back. I prefer to stay close to home these days. You know, Lisa loves to travel. I hope you're not keeping my little bird in a cage. No, I still travel plenty, just not with Jack that often. So not only do you live in separate homes, you take separate vacations as well. Yeah, I guess it sounds a little unusual, but it works for us. So not spending 
any time together at all. That that works for you. I wouldn't well, Lisa say you don't and I spend any plenty time together. Of right. Time. Actually, I think it's healthy to spend time apart from your spouse. Life takes us in different directions, and that's a good thing because then when you get brought back together, you're that much closer. That's my opinion. Aunt Evelyn, this is all too generous. Nonsense. My passion for traveling is second only to my passion for shopping. <laughs> and Jack, I have something very special for you, too. I picked it up at a little market in New Delhi. Well, I'll be. <laughs> if it isn't a... What is it? It's a traditional kurta. You know, there are so many men in India that wear these all the time. Now, I know a rancher such as yourself would have much use for it during the day, but it makes for a lovely nightdress. Mm-hmm. Perfect for Jack. All right, I'm going to make a fresh pot of coffee. Oh, well, why don't I help you? All right? All right. <laughs> Thank you. You're so welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Adam, I gave that place a call, the, uh, the one you were talking about that offers orienteering courses. You did? Yeah. And it turns out that they have a course built in Bear Creek that they're going to let my rodeo school use tomorrow. Why this sudden interest in mounted orienteering? Because I have some students that could learn a thing or two about teamwork. I know we're not in your team, but do you think Georgie and I could enter? Sure. Yeah, why not? I don't know, Adam. I'm OK with the mounted part, but not orienteering. That's why we're the perfect team. Come on, Georgie. You should totally do it. If I could ride, I'd be there in a heartbeat. OK. I guess it could be fun. What about you, Jack? You want to come and help out with the horses, or you want to stay home and dance around in your new nightdress? Yeah, you're hilarious, Tim. Do you know, I'm really looking forward to having lunch tomorrow with you and Jack. So are we. Such a man of mystery, isn't he? That husband of yours. He's so stoic. <laughs> I guess he's stoic at times. He's not much of a mystery once you get to know him. Oh, I can tell that Jack's a man of principle. Principle and great pride. Sort of explains your living situation, doesn't it? What do you mean? Like you, I had more money than my second husband. And he was very proud. You know, he always took it as an affront if I picked up a check in a restaurant or paid for a vacation. Eventually, the love turned into resentment. Of course, that was a long, long time ago. We never even dreamed of living in separate houses. Well, maybe that would have saved the marriage, or at least prolonged it, giving us the illusion that nothing had changed, that, that money wasn't an issue. But I know that's not why we don't live together. We, we're we just set in our ways. My money has never been an issue for us. After three failed marriages of my own, I can say with some authority, money is always an issue. <laughs> no, love's a wonderful thing, Lisa. But Jack's not your equal, not the way Dan was. I see trouble down the road. Hey. Just checking to see how that coffee's coming along. Coming along. Let me bring you a cup? Sure. Align the edge of the compass with the starting and finishing point and then just rotate the compass until the arrow points north on the map. See? It's easy. Easy for you. Don't worry, you'll get the hang of it. <sighs> we really need to get rid of that fanny pack. I get you need it for your insulin, but it's really inconvenient for riding. It's going to notice. Hey, Adam, your mom called. She wants her fanny pack back. All right, <laughs> gather around. <clears throat> Jack? You want to explain the rules? No thanks, Tim. 
Okay, I'll explain the rules. You will be divided into teams of two. The object of the game is to find the circled areas on the map. And using your compass and the clues on the back of the map, you'll find the hidden markers. I have a question. Wait till I'm finished, and then you can ask questions. Where was I? Marker. Markers. When you have located the marker, it will have letters written on it. Write the letters down, and then move on to the next circled area on the map. You can do it in any order. Once you have located... Can I just ask one thing? Did you not hear what I said? Once you have located all five markers, you race back to base camp as fast as you can. The team with the best time wins. Any questions? Anyone? Yeah, hello, over here. Jade. What does this have to do with rodeo? It has everything to do with rodeo. The whole point of the day is to learn how to combine horsemanship with strategy and teamwork. Any more questions? OK, no more questions. Here are the teams, Chris and Evan, Mike and Daniel, Georgie and Adam, and Jade and Clay. Uh, no way. Way. Mount up, clock starts now. Tim, there is no way I'm working with him. Clock's ticking. But Tim. No, I don't want to hear it. You and Clay are partners. Tick, tick, tick. Hey, partner. Hi. Hey. Hey, Amy, how are you? Better than you. You look exhausted. Yeah, well, it's been a long trip. But uh, hey, listen, um, I got a crazy message from Scott. Cass gave him an ultimatum about the clinic. What do you mean? She's trying to get me fired. Cass threatened to walk if Scott doesn't make her a full partner. I can't believe that Scott would agree to that. Yeah, well, we're short staffed at the clinic. He can't afford to lose her, and she knows that. OK, but can't he just offer her an equal partnership? We're not big enough to have three partners, Amy. It makes more financial sense for Scott to let me go and pick up Cass. I can't believe that she would do something like this. Ah, well, Cass has got to do what she's got to do, right? So what are you going to do? I don't know. Uh, Amy, I got to go. Bob and the driver are waiting for me. Um, I love you. I love you, too. Who cares about mounted or interior? It's a beautiful day. We're out in the countryside. Let's take the time to get to know each other a little bit better. I know you think you're pretty charming, but I got news for you. You have zero game. I get it. You think you're too good for me. Yeah. Bad news for you. I've dated plenty of college girls in my day. Wow, what an accomplishment. Okay, got it. Wait here for a second. I'll be right back. Jade, what are you doing? We need to have a girl talk. You do realize this is a timed event, right? Yeah, it's really important. Please, Georgie. Can you just give us a second? Make it quick. OK, what's going on? There's no way I can work with Clay. You have to switch partners with me. But why? Because he's impossible. He's always hitting on me and saying these gross, sexist things. Well, Tim's not just going to let us switch partners. Don't you think he put you and Clay together for a reason? Yeah, he wants us to declare a truce or whatever, but why should I be the one to extend the olive branch? I'd rather stick that branch in my eye. You know, scratch that. I'd rather stick it in Clay's eye. Well, why don't you and I just team up then? Because if Clay partners with Adam, they'll win for sure. Adam's a walking GPS. The whole point is for me to beat Clay. Well, if Clay and I team up and you and Adam win, that means I lose. So what? It's not like you're on the rodeo team or anything. You have nothing to prove to these guys, but I do. Please, Georgie, it's not like I ask you for favors all the time. Please. I think the first marker is just up ahead. Actually, there's been a change of plans. All right, I can handle the rest of this if you want to take off. I'll stick around. I thought you had to meet Lisa and Aunt Evelyn for lunch. Well, I did, but I think you need me here. No, I don't. Well, too bad, because I'm staying. I already texted Lisa. We'll text her back. You're free to go. Unless you're trying to get out of it. 
because of a certain Aunt Evelyn. <laughs> huh? Oh, what's the matter, Jackson? You want to hear some more stories about India? Or was it her constant criticism about your marriage to Lisa that turned you off? I said I'm not going. That's all there is to it. Yeah, and how's Lisa going to feel about you canceling at the last minute? I don't know. She didn't respond. Yeah, sometimes silence is louder than words. Trust me, it's for the best. Good boy. Look fine. Maybe you should sit down. You know, you have some nerve showing up here. What? <sighs> don't pretend like you don't know what I'm talking about. Ty told me you're trying to get him fired. I'm just here because I have the test results for Lex. Oh, I'm surprised you're not too busy stabbing my husband in the back to do actual vet work. <sighs> well, I thought you'd like to know Lex has a clean bill of health. Great. Now you can go. I can't believe Jade won't suck it up for one day to be my partner. What's her problem? The only reason she doesn't want you as a partner is because you're an unbearable jerk. I'd much rather be spending time with my boyfriend right now, but instead I'm stuck here with you, so don't think this is fun for me. Well, just because it's... I'm not finished. If you really want to win this, you're going to need me to cooperate, and I'm not about to spend the rest of my day listening to you diss my friend. So one more word about Jade, and I'm done. Got it? I'll start looking for the next landmark. I hope you're not mad at Georgie for agreeing to switch partners. Because if you're going to be mad at anyone, it should be me. I'm not mad. I just wish everyone would take this seriously. I know it's just a game. I'd rather not come in last. There's no way we're coming in last. I plan on winning today. Not if we can't find this first marker. I've checked the coordinates twice. It should be right here. You mean this? Yeah, that's it. Why didn't you say anything? I saw it like five minutes ago. What? I thought I told you to leave. I'm only asking Scott for what's fair. It's not personal. You're trying to get my husband fired. Trust me, it's personal. I'm not trying to get him fired. But I'm the one at the clinic every day, putting in the hours, picking up the extra slack. I deserve to be partnered just as much as Ty. It's not my fault Scott can't afford two partners. Ty spent years paying his dues with Scott. He earned that partnership. You can't just come in here and take over the minute he leaves. Amy, what's wrong? I don't know. Ugh. It really hurts. Something's wrong. OK, just <laughs> take a deep breath. What if I hurt the baby when I fell? No, some cramping is normal during pregnancy. <sighs> ah, no, it really hurts. This is all my fault. OK, Amy, look at me. This is not your fault. You're just having some cramping, that's all. <sighs> Come on, I'm gonna take you to the hospital, okay? Oh, yeah. Ooh. I think we should go left. Look, it'll be way faster if we go right. Yeah, but then we'll have to backtrack at the end to get the last two markers. So what, we won't lose that much time. We'll just make it up with speed. That is, if you can keep up. Hold still. Why, what is it? You have a spider on you. Oh my god, just get off! Get it off! It's off, calm down. Are you sure? Yes, you don't have to be such a big baby I about can't it. Stand spiders, get it off. A lot of people are scared of spiders, okay? Yeah, including cowboys with oversized egos who think they know everything. Okay, fine. We'll go your way. Okay, now try to keep up. It's a shame that Jack couldn't join us. Mm. Now I was going to try and talk him into letting you go on a little trip with me. Where? To Morocco. We could leave in a few days if you like. 
No, I can't on such short notice. What an impromptu trip to Morocco isn't the craziest idea in the world, is it? We've done it before. I know, but I have responsibilities now. I have a business, and Katie, I can't. Katie is your husband's great-granddaughter. She's hardly your responsibility. Lisa. I just keep thinking there's so much more you could be doing with your life instead of being a glorified babysitter. Is that really what you signed up for when you married Jack? just wonder, are you happy? I am, Auntie. I really am. And I'm hungry. Let's, let's order some lunch, shall we? Do you need anything else before I go? No, thanks. I should be good. I'm sorry I freaked out earlier. You had every right to be freaked out. He used to be just me and a horse in the round pen, but now... You have a baby to think about. I've worked with hundreds of horses just like Lex. So how come every time I close my eyes, all I can see is him charging me? Well, you heard what the doctor said. It was just Braxton Hicks contractions, totally normal at this stage in your pregnancy. It had nothing to do with your fall. I know. I don't know what I would have done if you weren't here. Don't worry about it. But get some rest. Doctor's orders. Cass, it is personal. What? What you're doing to Ty. I know you think that there should be some kind of separation between what's personal and what's business. I don't think it can ever be like that. Not with us. I'm Ty's wife. And you're his work wife and my friend. It's just, it's really messy. I just want what's fair. I don't want to hurt you or Ty. Then don't. Okay. So the marker is 140 degrees from this steel drum. At 230 degrees from this tripod. makes it somewhere over here. Do you see it? No. Did you read your compass right? Of course I read my compass right. It's around here somewhere. Look. See, I told you it was over here. We're making pretty good time. We've only got three markers left. Why don't we go get five and then get three and four on the way back? Sounds good. Let's do it. We might actually win this. Don't sound so surprised. Jack, I got some experience dealing with difficult relatives. In fact, I got an ex-father-in-law who can be a real pain in the butt. Would you lighten up? Come on, Evelyn's harmless. I, I don't see why you can't suffer through one more lunch with her. Because I overheard her saying something to Lisa last night. What? She was shooting her mouth off about how Lisa's rich and I'm not and all the trouble that's going to cause down the road. So what? She's got some old-fashioned ideas about money. It's not the end of the world. If I show up there today, believe me, I will not be able to stop myself from telling Evelyn where she can go. Well, if you tell her off, yeah. That's definitely a bad idea. But you not showing up, that might even be worse. Well, what am I supposed to do? Just sit there? Not say a word while she's looking down her nose at me. That's what I always did. Husbands have been doing that with in-laws for centuries. You used to look down your nose at me, but I always showed up for those dinners. It's not the same. It's thing. exactly the same thing, Jack. That's how I gained Marion's respect. Always showing up for the dinners. And more importantly, it pissed you off. 
If you leave now, you'll make it for dessert. gonna make it. Oh, I pushed off a little early. Good to see you, Evelyn. <laughs> Better late than never, I suppose. You know, I've been trying to convince my niece to a little trip with me. Oh, well, where to? Morocco. There's so much culture over there and architecture and the food I used to die for. Of course, you would absolutely hate it over there, Jack, wouldn't he, Lisa? When would that be? Well, I was hoping in a few days, but apparently Lisa's too busy babysitting Katie to come along. I don't call it babysitting. Well, I do. Your parents seem to have absolutely no interest in raising the child, and you have been left to pick up the parental slack. Evelyn, what's... I... This is none of your business. Excuse me. I'm done. I can't sit here another second and listen to you diminish the choices I've made for myself. Cartland is my home. I don't drop in and buy a gift at the souvenir shop like you do in India and Morocco. I've chosen it. This is my life. Yes, I know it's your life. Why do you feel that you have the right to judge it? How dare you call me a glorified babysitter? Katie may not be my flesh and blood, but she is as much family to me now as you are. You asked me before if I'm happy. Let me be very clear. Yes, I'm happy. I think the bigger question right now is, are you? I'm sorry. I need some air. Excuse us. So, what just happened in there? I told my aunt off. And I'm really glad I did. I love our life together. I'm happy. I love you. Get up. I'm not trying to get Ty fired. At least that's not my intention. I can't afford two partners, so you're putting me in a difficult position. I know, but you can't expect me to do Ty's share of the work without making some changes. I can't make you a partner. 
Okay. But what can you do? Okay. I will hire two assistants instead of just one. They'll help with the workload. And um, we can talk about a raise. 25%. Five. Twenty. How about we discuss this over coffee? Okay. But you're buying. At this rate, I won't be able to afford it. This way, this way. Hey. There it is. The last marker. Okay, let's get back to camp. Well, look who it is. Took you long enough. This is our last marker, which means I win and you lose. But you're probably getting used to that by now. Actually, it's our last marker too. And I would have been here hours ago if Adam wasn't so slow. Yeah, I'm the one following the map and taking all the compass readings. Without me, you'd be lost somewhere in the Kananaskis by now. Figures to make Adam do all the work. I'm so gonna beat you back to camp. You even know what direction camp is in. Of course I do. It's that way, right? <laughs> I knew that. What are they doing? Yeah! Wow! Yeah. Come on! Barely. You're on the same team, remember? It doesn't matter who came in first here. Your time's pretty good. Let's see how you did with the markers. Well, see what you can do with a little teamwork. You're the winners. They used us. Yep. I'm really sorry about today. I know you're really looking forward to orienteering. That's OK. We're already signed up for the real event next month. But this time, no Jade or Clay. Just the two of us, right? Yeah, promise. Hey, congratulations on winning. Yeah, thank you. So. Don't you think your whole rivalry with Clay is getting a little out of hand? You don't understand, Georgie. I was just starting to get the respect of all the guys in the rodeo team, and then Clay comes along and treats me like I'm just some tail to be chased. I've worked too long and too hard for that. He's scared of spiders. What? He nearly fell off his horse when I tried to brush one off his shoulder. Not such a tough cowboy after all. No, not even close. We'll see you later. I got him. Okay. <laughs> Come in. I'll get it. Hi. I'll, uh, I'll leave you to the lawn to talk. Please stay. I'd, I'd like you to hear this. I was a guest in your home, and I behaved dreadfully. And the worst part is I offended someone very dear to me. I had no right to call into question any of the choices that you have made. I don't know if you could ever forgive me. Of course I can forgive you. all over the world and I've seen things so beautiful they make my heart ache. But you know I would be lying if I said that I sometimes 
didn't wonder what my life would be like if I'd made different choices. You're very brave, Lisa. You always have been, and I wish you nothing but happiness. Auntie Evelyn, are you going to fly in the kite with me? Oh, I'm so sorry, darling. I can't. I, I have a plane to catch, and I, I have to be going. Well, why don't you delay your flight? And that way, you can spend some more time with us. You'd be welcome to stay, Evelyn. Your family. I don't know what to say. I think you say yes. <laughs> It comes with a hug. <laughs> I, I accept. <laughs> you know, Katie, I think I felt the wind picking up when I was walking up to the house. Today might be the perfect day to fly this kite. <laughs> Come on, off you go. Love you. Love you, too. Thank you. <laughs> You sure this is safe? Didn't he nearly run you over yesterday? <laughs> We've made a lot of progress since then. Okay. All right. And we'll just take this nice and slow, build up his confidence. Good boy, Lex. Good boy. I'll be your okay, I'll be close. I'll be close. I'll be close. I'll be close. Let it go, let it out just a little bit. Just